All right, everybody, welcome to another Polkadot tutorial. Today, we are going to have a look on how to mint NFTs using Codadot on the Polkadot Asset Hub. It's super simple, so let's dive into it. We are currently on the Codadot platform. What we will do now is go to the right upper corner, click on connect, confirm that Codadot will never ask you to provide your mnemonic phrase or private key, and click on confirm. Right now, we can choose from different wallet providers, but we will go with Polkadot.js and choose the account we want to connect to Codadot with. All right, and we are in. We can see our balance here on the right side, and we need to check right now on what network we are in. So just to double check, we are on Polkadot Hub. That's correct. And now we will create the collection. So how it works on the Polkadot Asset Hub is that we first need to create a collection and afterwards we will mint NFTs into it. So let's start from the first step. Um, the recommended size is 300 by 300 and uh, we will follow that. And then we need to do uh, write down the collection name and collection description and uh, maximum NFTs minted into that and on what network. So let's go into it. Uh, we will choose the logo image of our collection. Now we need to choose the collection name. I actually have it here. So it's a multiverse mischief. Um, and the collection description that's optional. And uh, we'll just have this one. So people know what they are actually buying, right? And we'll have uh, unlimited NFTs in the collection. So we can mint as many as we want. Uh, we have chosen the network, which is Polkadot.hub, and the current deposit is turned out. So what we need to do now is double check that we have everything that we need to input and uh, create a collection. So right now, uh, we will just wait for everything to set up. Right now, what we need to do is input our password. And sign the transaction. can see that the Coda.ui is right now broadcasting the transaction to the blockchain. All right, awesome. We have successfully minted the Multiverse Mischief collection to Coda.dot. Now is the time to mint an NFT into it. So let's get on to it. What we do now is click on Create, Classic, just like we did before. And instead of the Collection tab, we will click on NFT. So we will choose the collection that we want to mint into and uh, choose the art that we uh, would like to upload. The art will be uh, the NFT. So the name is uh, here, Sorority. And the NFT description, which allows uh, 500 characters is uh, here. So we'll just uh, make it a little bit shorter. I think something like this should work. Uh, it will be one on one art, so only one copy. And uh, list NFT for sale will do that right away and list it for $11 because that's a, that's a nice number. And yeah, let's uh, click to create NFT. In the meanwhile, uh, we are uploading the data to the IPFS and uh, we will be prompted with a transaction to sign, as you can see right now. All right, I'll just sign the transaction. For some reason, my camera is off, but don't you worry about that. Now uh, let's just wait for the NFT to be minted. Broadcasted the transaction to the blockchain by, by Codadot, and then we can check the NFT on our profile in the collection and uh, afterwards in the Explore page where people can actually filter out what is available on Polkadot Asset Hub. You can see the transaction is in block. All right, successfully we have minted the Rorty NFT and we are on the detail now. Uh, I can see this nice fella is ready for you to be bought and we can actually share it right away, which I'm not gonna do right now. But you can see that there are some attributes. Uh, here is the uh, description of the NFT we minted. And, and I can see that I have already listed it for sale. Um, for uh, 11 dot and there are some details blockchain that's uh, asset polka dot and there are some general information about it uh, what we can do right now is either transfer the nft or change price that's completely up to us and if we actually go to the explore page and click on items we should actually see it right here on the left side that there is a new nft minted if somebody uh, wants to buy it then they are free to do so i'll share a link in the description below
All right, everybody. Thank you all for watching and uh, have a good day. Thank you.